Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to a new FIFA 14 squad builder here on my channel on the Xbox One, obviously. Today I've got a bit of a treat for you, that is for damn sure. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, then be sure to check out UT Coin Traders. As always guys, links are going to be down below in the description for you. But today, um, I've, I've been kind enough to have been lent another incredible legend uh, to, to show you guys today, to show off in this squad builder, to get some really class goals and stuff. Um, so as you can see, we're using that 3-5-2 today. Oh, and if I can, just ask you guys to smash a like on the video if you do enjoy. That would be epic. Let's try and hit 2,000. Um, first off, in goal today, we will be using this guy, Hugo Lloris. Uh, great keeper, BPL, plays for Spurs. He's French and stuff. He's, he's, he's a good keeper on this game. That's all I can really say about him. He, he, he does a great job. Um, and he's a, he's a real sort of great reflexes kind of guy. Then we move on to our first centre-back, which is also in the Premier League. That is going to be Vincent Kompany, uh, using that sentinel chemistry style on him. Um, because I think his pace is pretty much good enough. Uh, and he's a big, big guy. He's sort of like your leader, your captain, if you will. Um, and then we move on to another... Premier League player, perfect chemistry link there with Lloris is Kabul. Um, he gets 78 pace, 80 defending, 83 heading. Um, so it's good that you've got some very, very pacey centre backs so far. And we continue that by getting a silver centre back here. And you're like, well, lastly, what the hell are you doing? But you'll see how it all works out in a minute. And this guy is called Rekik, I think, something like that. Uh, and he has got 73 pace, 74 defending, 77 heading. Got that shadow chemistry style on him. He plays for PSV in the Eredivisie. So what you're going to see here is just some sort of, you know, generic defensive clips. Um, what I found with this team is that I was I was stopping a lot of players going through, and it was difficult to get these these defensive clips because my two CDMs actually played very very well, and I'll show you who they are in just a moment. Uh, but when when they were there, they were stopping people getting the ball before it was going through to my defenders. So um, that was quite a good thing, but obviously it makes it more difficult for me when I'm compiling these clips and stuff. Um, the other thing that really annoys me now on the Xbox One is that when a player scores. Uh, the, the name of that player doesn't instantly come up and it, it, I use that name when I'm editing all the time and that is a bit frustrating um, but we move on now to our uh, CDMs two silver guys we're going to use uh, Tony Villahena I think that's how you pronounce his name 77 pace on him and some pretty decent overall stats really like he's a he's a pretty good hard worker decent work rates and stuff um, I put the what was it the sentinel chemistry style on him and then we move over to link that up with sort of the Dutch and the Premier League stuff by getting Vernon Anita who I put the powerhouse chem style on him he's got 77 pace 73 defending and decent dribbling as well to match um, um, so you can see we've got a bit of a gold and silver thing going on. We're going to continue that with another silver player, uh, Depe. Memphis Depe is awesome. What a great little player he is. I mean, he somehow his stats are still silver, which is great. Uh, but he costs around the 9, 10k mark with that sort of... Um, with those stats on a silver card, it's definitely worth it. He's a, he's a very enjoyable player to use, actually. I liked him a lot. Uh, but then we move over to the right midfielder, who is going to be Hatem Ben Arfa. So we do get some skills into this squad, obviously. Five star on him. He's got 83 pace, 86 dribbling. And I put that uh, dead eye chem style on him, just to help him out with his shooting and passing a bit. This right here is what it's all about in this squad. It is the legend card of Rude Hullet. I mean... Just just take a look at that. That is ridiculous. I've got to say a massive thank you to Ruin at Footwiz, as always, for lending me such great players. Uh, this today was probably one of the best players I'll ever use on Ultimate Team. Um, so I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and uh, go follow him and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, links are going to be down below for you. But Rude Hullet, look at them stats, man. They're all above 80. You can see them for yourselves. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. He costs in the order of about 3.8 million coins. Uh, and he's six foot three as well as having all of them stats, all of that pace, all of them skills. It is just insane. He is one player on this game who is going to be at the top of his game. Like he is just insane. Like no, there's not going to be anyone better than him. I don't think. Um, it's just ridiculous. He was he was so good. Uh, played with a massive smile on my face when I was playing him. Uh, and sometimes it felt like cheating. It really did because he is he's kind of that good. Um, just taking pot shots from all over the place. And he is everywhere on this pitch. You know, he'll help out 
and and get back and help you you know help your defenders and stuff. Uh, but he'll also find himself up here, which is nearly a striker role. Um, obviously, that's where you want him to be because he's playing Cam. Uh, I, I really wanted to move him up to striker a little bit more, but I didn't do it at all. I just played him at Cam, and as you saw, he got nine goals in eight games, which was more than my strike force as well. Um, because I think when I was using him, <clears throat> I, was, I was actively trying to score with him because... It was so much fun to be on the ball with this guy. His dribbling is insane. Like for someone that big, you don't expect them to have like great agility and flair and stuff. And he just does. Shot power is ridiculous. Uh, just look at the run he's making here. And this is you don't stop someone like that because that is six foot three plus an afro worth of someone going like 86, 87 pace, whatever it is. It's ridiculous. The four star skill moves help out a lot as well. Uh, and then I've got two more goals to show you here with Rude Hullett himself. Um, probably the two favourite ones that I did score. Uh, as you can see, working it down the line. And he doesn't actually get quite a little bit of a bicycle kick on that one, which is quite nice. And I'm taking advantage of the new uh, great replay system to show you that one again. And then the final goal we scored was, was this one right here. He does like an advanced rainbow. We play it around a bit and he just punts it. And that goes in somehow. What a goal. What a player. Again, I'm going to show you the replay right here. Um... Great pass and move from my strike force to get that ball back to him. And he's sort of outside of the foot, swerves it. What a player. That is what you guys have hopefully come in to see in this video. Uh, and I've got two strikers to just show you to round off the team then. Uh, and they're very good in themselves as well. We've got Marvin Emnez up front, a silver Dutchman, with four-star skill moves, 87 pace. And as you can see, five goals and four games, uh, five goals and four assists in the six games that we played is obviously very decent. And then up front, we have got ourselves a Robin Van Persie. Uh, I packed him actually, you know, a, a little while before using him and I sold him so I had to buy another one back. But he's got 89 shooting, 82 passing and the four star skill moves and weak foot as well. He didn't do quite so well goal wise but that was pretty much because I was focusing on scoring with Rude Hullet, um, who I must say... Uh, I don't know, have I said already that Rude Hull is really good on this game? I don't know if I've mentioned it in this video or not. Um, but onto the strikers really, like Emnez, as you can see here, great dribbling and stuff. Um, working defenders around and he does a great job of it. Uh, he he felt slightly better than RVP to be honest with you. I, I think if I play Van Persie again, I'd like to play him at Cam. And then to be fair, I'll just stick Hullet up front because he's that good. Um... But, like, right here, I had three players around me chasing me. I just dribble around it, fake shot a couple of times, and then it's in the back of the net. He is, he's a tidy finisher, is little Emnez. For a silver player, he does incredibly well. Um, obviously, in a second, I'll show you RVP's goals. Like, right here, we're starting with RVP. And you can tell he's a high-rated goal because the sort of runs that he makes and stuff are incredible. And in that sort of position in front of goal, 89 shooting on that left peg of his, it ain't going to get saved. You just know that that's a goal right there. Uh, and then right here again, lovely sort of banging finish into the into that near post. But it's so powerful that the keeper can't stop it. Uh, and then just look at this. I let a goal in in the 90th minute, even though I'm winning quite a lot. Uh, and I just sort of do the guy and score a lovely goal with RVP. Uh, to round off this squad. So that right there is the squad. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Uh, it's around the 4 million coin mark. So it's one of these ones where I just want to show you the sort of things you can do uh, with the crazy players on Ultimate Team. Um, it was a, it, it's such a fun squad to use in incorporating silvers, golds, and a legend itself. So I just want to say if you have enjoyed, guys, please smash a like on the video. As I said, let's try and hit 2,000 for this uh, Rude Hullet squad builder.